off the top of my head, on the tip of my tongue, it's in the back of my mind, under my nose, by the skin of my teeth. All right, are you filming? Oh, okay. Good morning, everybody. My name is Nick, and welcome to Body Idioms. Now, I realize that many common English phrases and idioms involve body parts, such as arms and legs and hair and even teeth. Yes, teeth. So, I decided to start an entire series just on body parts. And today, we are gonna focus on the head and the face. The head and the face. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, the first phrase we're gonna learn today is off the top of my head. 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 If somebody is asking you a question and you haven't had time to think about it, you're not sure, you can just say, off the top of my head. So for instance, how many students are at your school? Um, off the top of my head, maybe about a thousand? I'm not sure, I have to go check. Who's coming to the party tomorrow? Um, off the top of my head, I think John and Cindy, but I'm not sure, I have to go ask them again. Ooh, hey, do you know mom's phone number? Off the top of my head, uh, I can't really remember. I have to go look it up. One good way to remember this is it's the information that's right on the top of your head. You haven't gone deeper into the rest of your brain, it's just the information that's right here. Off the top of my head on the tip of my tongue on the tip of my tongue on the tip of my tongue it's on the tip of my tongue it's on the tip of my tongue it basically means I'm pretty sure I know the answer but uh, I'm not exactly sure how to say it it's as if if somebody else said the answer, you would know that that's it immediately. It's kind of like you almost know, but you just forgot what the answer was. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this has happened to many of you while you're learning English. How do you say Shafa in English again? Um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue, I know this. Um, it's, uh, oh, Sofa. It's Sofa, right? Yes. Hey, what was the name of that girl that you met at the bar yesterday? What was her name again? Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. What is her name? Um, Irene? Eileen? Oh, I forgot. I'm not sure. Another good way to remember this, the words are right on the edge, right on the tip of your tongue right here, but they just can't quite come off. That's on the tip of my tongue. In the back of my mind. In the back of my mind. Yeah, it's in the back of my mind. If something is in the back of your mind, that means it's an issue or a matter that you need to deal with, but just not right now. Maybe it's not quite important enough, or it's not a big deal right now. It's just sitting back here in the back of your mind. I'm thinking about it, but I'll handle it later. Hey, are you gonna buy those movie tickets soon? I thought we were going to go see a movie together. I know, it's been in the back of my mind. I'll go buy them tonight. Hey, when are you gonna tell that girl that she didn't pass the interview? I'm not sure. It's in the back of my mind. I'll make sure to tell her on Monday. I'm really worried that I'm not doing well at my job. Getting fired has always been in the back of my mind. One good way to remember this phrase is, let's say the most important things are right here in the front. You're thinking about them. Unimportant issues, they're in the back of my mind. Important issues, in the front. But you can't say it's in the front of my mind. That doesn't work. There's only in the back of my mind. Okay, under my nose. If something is right under my nose, then it's something that was probably obvious, but somehow I never noticed it. 
ah, that spy was right under our noses the whole time. But he was in disguise, so we didn't know. The answer was right under my nose the whole time. And I finally understand it now. Ah, oh, that guy has been cheating on me for years. It was right under my nose the whole time and I never knew. A good way to remember this phrase is, if something is right under your nose, it's very close to you, but you still can't see it. That's why it's called, it's right under my nose. And the last one, by the skin of my teeth. By the skin of my teeth. By the skin of my teeth. If something happens by the skin of your teeth, it means it was very close, but it didn't quite happen. Something bad was very close to happening, but it just barely missed. It's usually a dangerous accident that almost happens, or some, somebody almost gets in trouble, something like that by the skin of my teeth. He finished his test one second before time was up. He finished by the skin of his teeth. The police were chasing him, but he got away by the skin of his teeth. It was a close race, but I won by the skin of my teeth. All right, and as always, the summary of the words we learned today. You just learned five new idioms that relate to the head and face. I wonder what the next body part will be. Hmm, I know what you guys are thinking. Stop that right now. All right, thanks for joining me for the first episode of Body Idioms. See you next time.